16 people gathered online to try to uncover mystery about pathways. What it is, why every Toastmaster needs it, and how it can be helpful. As a result, our guests and newcomers learned general rules about pathways, role system, um, role chart and point systems, and life hack on how to plan achieving a distinguished Toastmaster, which is the highest award in Toastmasters. Let me share with you the plan of this presentation. First, I'll talk about results on visions and tasks that we initially set. And second is leadership, personal development, challenges and lessons learned. Surprisingly for me, I set only two visions. First is obviously to hold online educational session for newcomers and reinstated members. The second one is to make it fun. Uh, the author of this idea is present here. Uh, it's Hanat Bazarala. I took the idea after him because he uh, also led the project with Ms. Shai um, Sheikh dedicated to practicing Kazakh, uh, spoken, Kazakh spoken language, which I think was a huge success. So both of these visions were achieved with the help of my wonderful team. Tasks included uh, prepared speakers, Aidana, our current president, Azamat, former VP Education, uh, who is, uh, by the way, gave me the opportunity to lead this project, and myself. Tamir Toskian, uh, who kindly agreed to be a host of the session, who, by the way, on the day of session was at his workplace and still nailed leading the session. Uh, also, Damir helped to send speaker's presentation to all uh, atten uh, attendees uh, after the session. Timer was Shibik, our VP membership. She guarded the speaker's time, which is one of the important things that Toastmasters cherish. And the fun part was possible because of Quizmaster Salta, uh, who prepared interactive quiz at the end of the session with surprise prizes. About winners and prizes a bit later. Also, a very key part was spreading information via WhatsApp and Instagram. Uh, Shana brought this idea uh, and helped to share information about educational session to potential and interested members and guests. So uh, as you see, it's a shame to say, but we managed to implement those handful of tasks as well. But here comes challenges. First one, uh, first one appeared right in the beginning because we had to postpone the session for one week, mostly because of me. But thanks to my uh, wonderful team and, con and their constant support, we made it. What I learned, or at least understood, that it is crucial to, uh, to delegate every single task possible to team members. And from that, um, I recognized that um, it directly affects uh, team leaders' efficiency and time management. Uh, secondly, we had small number of actual new and potential members. Um, this gave me the idea to set a specific number of attendees uh, as a target number and assign for it a responsible person from the beginning. Um, last point is also um, related to the previous one that is uh, online format also played its role. The session was held on Wednesday after work hours, uh, and it's understandable that it is challenging uh, physically, mentally uh, to attend any kind of session. Uh, I remember how Saulia, our VP, former VP education, uh, used to hold educational sessions um, for newcomers and guests on uh, Saturday mornings right before 12 o'clock regular meetings. Uh, I was a newcomer, and even just the presence and observing the energy and motivation of those masters meant a lot to me at that time. However, as a, as a, um, as the saying goes, uh, your past success um, is a foundation into future success. Uh, nowadays, we should be flexible and uh, adjust to current circumstances uh, and create new way of effective leadership and communication. Uh, that's why next time we can plan uh, any kind of sessions on the weekends where people can devote their time 
um, and without any uh, after work fatigue and maybe consider in person meetings. Now, in more fun side, as I previously mentioned, our uh, surgeon at arms Salta prepared a quiz towards the end of the session. As a result, we've got three winners. They are um, Damir um, Nouris Bayev, VP Education of Amatetos Masters Club, uh, Asel Sadova, who back then she was a new member, and VP Membership Zhbek Pikinjanova. So where they are all they all received Nelaman certificates as a prize. Um, in conclusion, once again, I want to say thank you to my uh, team. Uh, be because of them, uh, they made possible, um, they made educational session possible. Also, I want to say to our relatively new members uh, to take your favorite thing, turn it into a project, uh, gather your dream team, set uh, goals and visions and go for it. Or you can ask me as a VP education and other officers for project ideas. You ask why? Since it gives a sense of achievement, fun, learning from challenges, and one step closer to distinguished Toastmaster Award. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster. Thanks a lot, Pota. I guess there would be more people who would like to take VP education role. 